Okay, some Saturday night processing tips. So when you're running an automated machine, uh, things get moving pretty quickly and start running. Um, if you have an ammo bot, there is a lot of sensors here that can cause this machine to stop when something is wrong. So we have a process we go through here uh, to make sure that we don't cause any further problems just because there was a stoppage. So the first thing we do when there's a stoppage is go clear that stoppage. Find out what it is. Is it the bullet topple? Uh, is there a case came in upside down and jammed? Um, did the judge die set off something? So it's cleared. Now I know it's all cleared, but the next step is critical. The next couple of steps here to make sure you do not cause yourself any further problems. So the next step is to immediately check the bullet drop station here. So did the stop topple the bullet off of here or did uh, it not pick up a bullet or while you were clearing the stoppage did you advance the shell plate one station too far and you've now left this one empty with no powder in it and before it's gotten a bullet dropped on it so as you can see it's kind of hard to see inside there and see what it is especially when you got a lot of things going on which is where these little endoscope cameras come in really nice because that one is set to take a look inside of that case. So uh, a lot of guys use these endoscope cameras to try to look at the cases as they're going by. The only purpose we have for the endoscope camera is to take a look in this case if there's a stoppage. So because we can't get in there to see in there real easy. If the powder's in there and what the level of powder is inside that case. And this tells us really nicely uh, what the level of powder is inside that case. The next thing we check is the one in the powder station. Pull this case out, take a look inside there, and make sure that there's powder in it. Okay, If there's powder in it, that means that the bullet just got knocked off of here. All right. If there's no powder in it, that means everything's great. Just pull the tool head down and start running. If this one has no powder, that means this entire shell plate has been advanced one station or more and everything that's on the shell plate needs to be cleared off the shell plate and restart the entire process because every case is going to be in the wrong position. So your case that should have been seated is now sitting over and crimping. Um, your case that should be primed is now too far forward and hasn't been primed and is now sitting under powder so you're going to drop powder all over your shell plate. So the number one step, clear the stoppage. Number two, take a look make sure there's powder in this case if there's no bullet sitting on it number three check to see where the powder is in this case and whether it has powder or no powder if the two cases if this one has powder and this one does not it's real easy just pull the tool head down and start processing if this one has no powder in it then you need to clear the entire shell plate off if this one has powder and this one has powder then you need to seat a bullet back on top of here, advance the shell plate, and bring this one into the bullet drop position. So that's our process, a real quick description of our process of how we prevent any type of squibs occurring due to process failures uh, when there's a stoppage on the machine. Uh, we will keep publishing tips like this uh, while we're kind of locked up on this uh, Chinese holiday, um, this enforced Chinese vacation from work. So uh, we will keep publishing these kind of tips uh, as we go through and we come up with things and questions come in. If there's other tips that you'd like us to answer, please just drop us a line uh, over on the Facebook uh, page, over at the Instagram page. Uh, just drop us a line and say, hey, uh, can you give us some tips on how to do X or Y uh, with your ammo bot and make it work better? And uh, so signing off for Saturday night. Uh, remember, come get loaded.